Hi everyone, it's Wei. Today I just wanted to make a quick setup video of my latest, my new watercolor journal. Like I promised in my previous video that I will show you guys this. Um, this journal is made with a leather cover and the leather is full grain leather which is a very uh, sturdy and durable type of leather and it holds the structure of the notebook very well. So I used long stitch binding which from the outside gives it um, a kind of a retro look. And for the closure, I just simply used a suede cord. It's like an easy closure. And well, you can see that I've already <laughs> done um, a few sketches on the first few pages. But um, like I said, this is like a a simple setup video and I would definitely show you guys more on um, the process of this journal in the future when there's more things to show of course okay so the most important element of this journal is the paper now this time I used the Sinali cotton paper I don't know if you guys are familiar with it um, let me see I saved a piece I actually <laughs> peeled off this um, this sheet from the packaging. So this is the Sennelly cotton watercolor paper, and it's you can it's 100% pure cotton, acid-free, uh, cold pressed, 300 uh, 300 grams, which is 140 pound. I know that Sennelly has a long history of making watercolor paint, and I'm no stranger to it myself. I just didn't know that they they make watercolor paper as well because I don't usually see it in my local uh, art supply store but ever since I discovered it I have been using it for um, about a couple of months I've tried cotton watercolor paper from just a few brands like um, Hannah Mule, Clairefontaine um, and of course the most uh, famous Arche well, in terms of quality, the Sinalia cotton paper is actually very similar to the Ash paper. I mean, it reminds me um, much of the Ash cotton watercolor paper. I'm just talking about cold press because um, I'm, most of the time I'm using cold press paper. Uh, well, the only difference is that I find the cotton, I mean, the Sinalia cotton paper to be smoother than Ash. Like, it has. Uh, less tooth on its surface, which I think makes it um, like a perfect paper to make a watercolor journal because in a watercolor journal or in a sketchbook most of the time we do small sketches so when the paper has less tooth it actually it makes it easier on um, small scale paintings so that's the reason why I chose the Sennelia cotton paper to make my uh, new watercolor journal. Well, I made this one for myself because this is more like a test product. And I did find the flip cover to be um, kind of short, not long enough, so I made an improvement on that. When it's larger, I find it easier to uh, for the journal to stay shut. And the rest is the same, same paper, same leather. So if you're interested in this journal, it is available on Etsy, in my Etsy shop. I will leave the link below in the video description, so feel free to check that out. Okay, that's all for today's setup video. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!